Aloha my kaku everybody. So today is another video of Makua Hacks and again we are with my mom because everybody was telling me how much they love my mom's video of her making muffins. So we're gonna make a video of her making waffles. <laughs> so again this is breakfast and we're gonna have another awesome breakfast. Um, I wish you guys were here with me that way we all can enjoy it but stay at home. Stay at home. But uh yeah, so let's get to it. And we say Hey mom. Hello, hello. <laughs> Morning everybody. <laughs> we are making waffles. Fresh waffles. So today's breakfast we're having waffles and we're having um Idaho spuds. Um you can buy these spuds at Costco. They're coming in Oh wow! <laughs> Packet of eight, right here. There's a line inside the box because you're trying to make it soft, and you just let it sit there. Actually, for pancakes and waffles, you can use this as well as uh, crepes. So, but today we're gonna do waffles, and I will do pancakes. So this brand, Crustas, Crustias. Buttermilk um, this is really good. Um, we've tried many different kinds, but this is the better one. Okay. So you want to take, um, I did it already. So you want to take, we're going to make 12 to 14. I just go for the higher number. So 12 to 14, it's not pancakes, it's waffles. You want to take two cups of this. I put two cups inside here already. One and a half cups of water. So that's that. Plus, Auntie puts in this butter taster. So, um, it's a butter extract. But because everybody <coughs> is at home, uh, everybody is baking. So, it's kind of hard to find these little things like this at this point. Anyway, so I'm going to put in a tablespoon of this. What this does, it just adds flavor to your waffle or your pancake. Let me just do that. So, so don't forget your music, your Hawaiian music. It just kind of sets the tone. Okay, so this is a waffle maker. Um, I appreciated the waffle maker. So as you know it, it says waffles on top of there. But you can make anything in here. So you know like those waffle hot dogs? Same process. You're going to put the waffles on there. And then you're going to um, put the hot dogs in there. And you're going to fold it up and close it. So that's the same process to waffle dogs. So, but we're only making waffles. I don't like swish, 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 swish around. So I'm going to make the machine do this. What you're trying to do, you see all those lumps inside there? You're trying to mix it up to where there's no, you see how it's getting softer or lighter? It should look like this. See this texture? That's what you want for any pancake or waffle. When it's like this, it comes out uh, moist. So you wanna take either Pam or any kind of cookies, spray, canola, and there's a lot on the, in the shelving, yeah. So you wanna spray the top, the top, and the bottom. You're gonna just get a ladle, small ladle, doesn't matter. And you're gonna put it in all of these. And we say, Look at you, play that tune. Let's all sing to Lang Lang Blues. Come on, oh yeah, to Lang Lang Blues. Don't be shy, give it a try. Chalang-a-lang blues 
Okay, that's it. You're gonna close this. That's how fast. That wasn't even like two minutes. So what you wanna try and do is if you see the thing coming out like this, the batter coming out, is because it's pushing it out to cook in the inside. So what you wanna do is just wanna make sure the color is what you want. Some people don't like it brown. They like it kinda like this. So we'll just wait a few more minutes. Chalangalang blues are gonna get you high. I said, oh, 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 chalangalang blues. And try. <laughs> Here you go. Let Allah should try it. Your first waffles, fresh waffles. So, Auntie, you going to just do the last of the batter. Probably gonna be just a small batch. Um, with your waffles, uh, you can get some fresh fruits, strawberries, bananas, cut them up, and then we can just garnish it. Garnish meaning that you're going to put it on top of your waffles just to make it nice and pretty. You can get whipping cream and put that on top, you know, when you guys go to breakfast, that's what you see. So Auntie just did exactly what you guys see in the store. And how much does that cost? Probably like $5. This is free, free in the house. With the package was only eight dollars so you can actually make so say like you guys go breakfast and you sit in a restaurant and you say oh can i get some waffles with some hash browns these are hash browns right here and that's your waffles the only difference is they are going to put whipping cream on it and fruits on top of it so that's where you're getting your waffles and how you can make this at home or less the price that you would spend outside then you got a tip so just keep in mind um, to save money if you folks like to stay home and do these kind of little things you can actually save money staying at home and making your own recipes but auntie and uncle work in the hotel system and we've been in the system a long time so we know about all these little high leadish foods um, on your waffles you can actually put any kind of syrup like Log cabin syrup, you can do that. Or you can put in Skippy's peanut butter, or you can put in guava jam, or oh, uh, what is this? Poha berries, or little berries, or hello berries. Anything that is gonna um, appease your palate. So, this is breakfast for Saturday waffles and hash browns. Have a nice day guys, happy Easter. Love you guys, aloha. Don't be shy, give it a try. Chalangalang blues are gonna get you high. In Hawaii, music's made in many ways. Oh yeah, and it really... Breakfast is served. <laughs>